Hi guys. I'm very, very excited tonight. We're gonna be talking with my friend Jen Sankey, who is the author and creator of this gorgeous, beautiful deck called the Stardust Wanderer. So all this beautiful hollow. She's got this in the deck on the sides. The art is amazing. She's gonna join us in just a moment. So I'm really, really excited. Oh, I see her joining already. So we will get her added to the conversation. View the request. All right, hopefully technology cooperates. Let's see. Accept. Go live with Jen. Come on, technology. <laughs> Hopefully it will work. Why isn't it cooperating? Huh. How bizarre. Accept. All right, let me try it this way. All right, I've invited her, so hopefully it'll work that way then. We'll just give it a minute. Hmm. How weird. Unable to join. Jen, if you are... There you are. Yeah. I don't know why. It was like a little hiccup. No, it's, you know, it's IG, so it's just one of those things. <laughs> It's all right. You look great. Oh, thank you. Good to see thank you. Hey, my friend. Hello. Oh, hello. How are you? I'm trying to like move it back a little. I feel like I'm like so like big. There we go. It's, I know. It always feels that way. <laughs> it's like you, you never great. know. And then all of a sudden you're like this and it's like, oh, hi. Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> I know. I was trying to set the angle. So I'm not like, you're not looking at my nostrils. So. <laughs> right. It's so hard. There's so many things to worry about. <laughs> you, look, you look great. Happy holiday weekend. Yeah, you yes. had a good time. Yeah, it was pretty quiet. So that's actually pretty good because things have been kind of nuts lately. So I was okay with that. Just kind of everything. We got some stuff done around here and just kind of hanging out. I celebrated my second son's birthday and that was it. And that was perfect. Very nice. Very nice. So um, guys, for you who are joining, I'm Danielle. I'm one of the co-owners of Amityville Apothecary. Jen Sankey is our friend who... Uh, created this amazing deck called Stardust Wanderer. So we're going to be talking about this tonight and then future projects that she's got going on. So, Jen, are you able to talk? Because I see you frozen right now. And I'm hoping that it comes back. Ah. All right. This is frustrating. It kicked you off. I don't know why it kicked you off. Let me see if I can get you back. How bizarre. Except. I think I'm back. You I'm are. Back. You're back. You're back. back. Good. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know. I was like, like, thanks for joining and just like shut off. I was like, well, that was rude, IG. You better stop. It was a little bit, but you know, it's okay. It could be sassy and hopefully, hopefully it's yeah. out of its system yes. right now. It's, it worked it all out. So yeah. So your hair looks fabulous. People are commenting. <laughs> thank I love you, thank your hair. Everybody, hello, hello. <laughs> I need to make an appointment my own self, but it's, <laughs> you look great. Um, thank you. So as I was saying, this deck is so cool, and I'm really excited, guys. When um, we were introduced to you originally through Sasha Graham, I think, who's a friend mm -hmm. of ours, and she said you gotta get my friend's deck. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. So we got the deck. And we hadn't met you or really had a chance to connect yet. Right. But, but then we met at the Reader's Studio event weekend. And I go, oh, you're Jen. <laughs> like, it's <hello."> me. <laughs> <laughs> and then during that weekend, we have mutual friends with Madame Pamita and Jim Devine. Mm -hmm. And you did a deep dive into your deck. Yes. But I couldn't attend because I was getting a palm reading from Jim. I see. Yeah. Yeah. The, the timing kind of, and I know 
they had to like clear out the one room early. So I know a couple of people that wanted to go could it? It was just like a weird timing it, thing. It's, it's all good because now yeah. I get a personal one on one with you and you yeah. get to share with our audience. Exactly. So guys, first of all, like let's look at how beautiful like Yay. the hollow and the back of the card designs and we will get into all the beautiful artwork of this deck um before i even get into like the cards and the art what inspired you because i read the intro i know that this is like such a tale it's so cool yeah. so what inspired you <laughs> It is. It's, it's kind of what everybody's like, where did this come from? Um, and it just came from my brain. So I had been kind of playing around with the idea of creating a deck for a while. And I just wasn't sure exactly what I wanted to do yet. And then all of a sudden, like Mina, the fool of the deck, she just kind of showed up. Like she just appeared and she was just like, hey, we're doing a deck about this. And I'm like, do you I don't know what this is. You. <laughs> the hair color does it does kind of go through but yeah no it, it was it was just such a kind of a weird thing so i'm like oh this is interesting and i am you know i love sci-fi i love pirate stuff i love david bowie um <laughs> so it's like all of these just random like steampunk i just and it all just kind of like fell into the story so mina showed up and I was just kind of, all right. And I just started writing a couple little things and all of a sudden this whole story just opened up. And that's really how it became, you know, became rather. And I, you know, there story decks, you know, there are some, but it usually isn't a thing, but this, it was just, it was happening. Like it was going to be a story deck and that, and that was it. So I just kind of, went along and then the different characters and just kind of associated with the different cards and then i really started doing um deep dive just on like all the pirates in the deck um you know like their personalities from what i can get you know from books and whatever and then that helped me also associate um them with the different cards and then the gods and goddesses and then the same thing with that so yeah so it was it was really it, it just kind of like fell into my lap and then it was just up to me to organize it <laughs> nice well i'm sure that was a bear of a yeah. project <laughs> so, so guys this is mina her main character and then her trusted friend poe the crow yeah the raven and then she's a space pirate her dad is blackbeard the space yeah. pirate mm -hmm. but her mom is who is so Lean, the moon goddess mm -hmm. so with her oh. name too though um you know her name kind of just came to me and then i knew that celine was her mom but and celine had um like 50 daughters you know and so i just was i just happened to google like oh the daughter's names of me of uh celine i didn't think there was going to be anything and then there was, is an actual list out there and cool. nina was on it mm. so i was just like oh okay that's all right. It's a little freaky, but I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. So it really does incorporate like, um, look, there's Hakate and she's a major player. She's the aunt, right? Yes. Yes. She's like the magical aunt. So that's kind of is her, her teacher and her guide. I love the female empowerment. So you utilize the goddesses and gods in the major arcana. So mm -hmm. I love your choice to have all the major players. This is the emperor card, but clearly that's a goddess. That's Freya. Yeah. So tell me about your influence of making that choice. You know, I, I just really um, just had like a list of just goddesses in my head and I wrote them all down and I'm like, just sort of reading about them and you know as you practice you're kind of going through and you read a little bit here and there but i was just like really going again it took there was so much research actually put into this deck which you wouldn't think there would be because it's very sci-fi but i really wanted to make sure they connected and it, i read until i found that connection and if it wasn't there then i would just leave it on the list go to the next right. one really try to weed them out and you know I think with Freya it was you know she is just kind of 
you know, she's just large and in charge and she makes her decisions um, based on what's fair and not everybody agrees. And she will tell you exactly how and why she's doing things. So I really just wanted her to be like, here I am. And that just seemed very emperor energy to me. Totally. <laughs> and of course she's surrounded by her cats, which I love. Of course. Of course. She needs course. her cats. <laughs> so, so normally the star card is my favorite card in the deck, which I love your star card. Mm -hmm. Let me find it. Here's the star card here because that's just, and I'm not Aquarian but I just usually love it. So this I absolutely love. But what stopped me in my tracks was I love the justice card. And I'm a Libra. So I think she's bad. <laughs> yeah, me too. Me too. <laughs> she's amazing. She is. She is definitely, you know, and I wanted to really make like with her eyes, I just want I didn't really want to put the blindfold on there because I didn't want to be like it was I just wanted to be like, oh, you could tell she has like no eyes, but they're like glowing. So like something's happening there. Yeah, to totally. Like she can see right through your bullshit. Absolutely. I love but it. She's not, she's not playing. No. <laughs> but then, I mean, you see the influence of all the mythology and the influence yep. there. It's yep, so it's beautiful. And it's just so like, and there's Celine with the, with the wolves. But then I see the little steampunk influence there too. Right. Yep. <laughs> and she's mooning and I, she's the moon I, I love that that was hilarious because I'm a really complete funny. dork and like it really doesn't take much to entertain me and I just thought it was so I, funny I chuckled when I saw it I was like oh there's the hiney good. Good. Yeah. good for her now he's awesome he will slay you I mean yeah. judgment yes mm -hmm. well done <laughs> <laughs> so cool and um the hermit he's just so wise and awesome yes what's yes. your what's your favorite card oh my gosh I don't know that I even have a favorite card because it like changes and you know I think I think it really just depends on the day it's what it's it's always that's always such a hard question I feel like yeah um like when I open decks my first card I always look at is the queen of wands so uh, and I absolutely love that card um but I do you know I really do love the world card in this one too yes like that one sees, you know I really do love that and I had such a vision for that and then the other card that really I needed to have it this certain way and it's really hard when it looks so good in your head but then you know you, you like I told my artist to put it you know how to do it or whatever and she's like there's a lot of stuff going on in here and I'm like yeah but it needs to be there so I'm just looking for the, um, so that was the, here's, the, uh, here's devil the card. Queen of Wands card yeah. that you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it's the devil card because, oh, the devil card. Yeah, that was Here, the one it. that I was, it was just so specific in my head. Here it is. If guys, there is a lot. Of, okay. So tell me about like, look at the devil, the cat. That is, yes. Oh, as my cat comes yes. up. Right <laughs> So that cat is actually the blue cat, and that's a nod to Pamela Coleman Smith and her painting, The Blue Cat. Oh. Um, and then the other guy is Dionysus. Oh. But we, you know, he just, like, you know, I mean, come on, it's Dionysus, so of course he's going to be hanging out. He's having and a grand time. They're, yeah, they're having a good time, but they're watching kind of like this theater scene below, and those are like the commoners in the deck, and they're just, they're just like, you know, they, they teased him with a little bit of gold and like food and they just kind of let him go at it. And they're just sitting there watching like, oh, look at them just hanging right. out, like, watching the cake. chaos, yeah. you know, below. Mm. So it's, a, it's yeah. a great card. It's very dramatic. It is. I mean, it is. It is. as it should be, right? <laughs> Death. <laughs> Death is awesome. Being led by the three headed dog. Yes. The Cerebus. Cerebus. Yeah. Like yeah, right you know like do you like like read stuff and the like so the word in your head is a certain way but then like you say it and it's like oh wait that's not how it's really pronounced but you can never yeah. like separate it and i do yeah. that all the time like i have my own language and it's just what i do it just happens yes. <laughs> i totally relate to that oh my god but like look look at like these little characters down here they're just like fear and crying right that's that's awesome. You have a very good artist. Yeah. yeah.
Yeah, she was good. So this this is your pirate ship, mm -hmm. the chariot. Yeah. So that's that's the case you on your head. Mm -hmm. Yep, that's Mina's ship, um, and it's uh, the name of it is Star Moon Rising, and that's Mina's magical ship. Cool. Yeah. Um, so this is awesome. So the way that you described it, you have the major, which I liked how you described. That's like the major chapters of a book, mm -hmm. and the minor is like the pages of the chapters, and then the courts are characters like important characters right the color that and i think that that was a really good way to describe it because people say like well i don't understand the difference between oracle and tarot and i said right well you know the structure of tarot so this is based on the writer weight system yeah. mm -hmm. so a lot, a lot of it is highly intuitive but then there's so much more like the guys i was looking through this i'm like this is like a full movie <laughs> like, I, <laughs> You know, it reminds know. me of like Clash of the Titans. Like, I want to watch this movie. I know, right? I know. Everybody's like, so what are you doing with it next? I'm like, oh, geez. Okay. Um, you know, and, and really like doing like a graphic novel or something like that would be really cool. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but, um, you know, it's just, it, it does kind of take a life of its own. And I like that. And I like too that you can use it for your own making your own story and totally. kind of like a path working even and i really did want to be you know a deck that beginners can use and experienced people you know just everyone so i really wanted a lot of like things in the cards too that that you can intuitively pick up on um and read with those as well i love it what is he standing on a bull's head like a i think it's like like a rug or something like a bull like a bull's head like a rug instead of like a tiger it's like the bull is that blackbeard that yes. is there he is that's dad dear old dad yeah <laughs> he's just he's tough out. he is tough and then my usual most hated card i love the art of it like this is my dreaded card <laughs> it's, i think yeah i think for most people they're not too happy when they get that one but yeah that one too i had a really clear vision and how i wanted it to look yeah so so because that's blackbeard's hat and that's celine's like scarf and so he still has feelings for her right yeah uh, yeah like he kind of he still has the feelings for her he knew he wasn't gonna work and He's like, all right, well, I'm gonna take care of her. And so it, it's it's really too a story about a single dad. We have all these, you know, it's like I have all these empowering female characters, and then we have the single dad who's Blackbeard and is a space pirate. And you know, yeah. it makes sense. Come on. I mean <laughs> it's, it's very interesting because she doesn't know that she's a demigoddess. No, she so. does it. No, nope. Blackbeard wants her to set out without any magical powers. Like this is my birth card, the Queen of Swords, and I like her. She's like badass. She, she can is. defend herself. She doesn't need anyone. Yeah, she's like, no, she is. Like, she's like, I'm state hard. your business. Exactly. We're either gonna have fun as partners <laughs> together, or you're out. Right, right, right. No, and that one too, I love because I did the um the sails of the ship in the back is like the butterfly. I love that. So that was like, I'm like, I don't want a ship that looks like that. <laughs> I want to be her. Right. Exactly. I'm like, okay. So, so fun. And, and on the cards, you added the uh, Zodiac correspondences. I did. I did. Yes. Yes. I you know, like and, and like, so, and really too, I added, um, cause there technically there's no set Zodiac. Like, like if you look it up, there's so many different variations. Yep. And so I really wanted to try to focus what the, you know, what was going on in the card mm -hmm. with the zodiac sign too. So just to kind of like really bring it all together. Which goddess is this? The uh, King of Swords. So the, that's actually a pirate. That's a pirate. So her name is a Ching, Ching Ling, I believe. I gotta, I don't remember exactly, but she was actually one of the most p prosperous pirates um during that time she had married um a pirate husband and then he got killed off and she took over and she winded up like kicking ass all over the place she took over like everyone and she was she was the most prosperous and what she wound up doing is she wind up retiring as a pirate 
going back to her home country and then she winded up kind of being the leader and mm. used the money to um you know like prosper her town or wherever but she mm. she definitely she was a very good businesswoman so she's she awesome because i really wanted like she's like no nonsense yeah this is how it's gonna be and so she is yeah. a calm Plus, she is fierce. Mm -hmm. Her sword is up, but and she's got phoenixes around her. Yeah, I love no. her. Yeah, yeah. She, she was definitely um, like a fun one. She was actually a really fun one to research too, yeah. because there was a lot of info on her because she was like so famous, like for what she did. And it's it's so funny because like just like uh, you know like the pirate season, I guess we'll call it. It really didn't last that long. But it's like all of these different people like came out of it, and you know, most of them didn't last very long. Well, she did, though. she made it. That was a hard life. It was. I would say so. I think yeah, it was pr probably not too fun. So look at this little nugget. <laughs> Divorce. Isn't he so cute? So instead of wands, you have oars. Yeah. Which is the element of fire. Yeah. So cute. So Paige is the young, the young student. Okay. He's just ready yeah. to go. Yes, that's John. And he actually is based on um, one of the um, youngest pirates in history. So he, um, well, they say he was probably between like nine and eleven, mm. and he was um, trained, and he was he was a space pirate. So oh. I mean, a regular, a regular. pirate, but a pirate. And yeah. this is space pirate, but yes. Yeah, so <laughs> he he actually did because he was i think he was bought or some traded or something but then he had potential so he was bought he oh my yeah. god a little baby boy i know he made it it's so crazy <laughs> my dropping cards i'm like well of course the ace of chalices <laughs> yeah but the two the two of cups look at this they're in love so this is so cute this, this is her love yes and, his, and his then name jason is from jason and the argonauts there you go Yes. Very romantic. <laughs> cool. So this is a love story. I mean, she's hanging with her girls. She's having a great time. She's getting, she's getting, she's falling in love. She's having adventures. She is. So I, I think it's wonderful. So guys, if you want the most fascinating tarot deck, I, I highly <laughs> encourage you to add this to your mix. I mean, it's so fun just diving into each and every card. And you have great suggestions on like how to familiarize yourself with the deck too. So talk a little bit about like that spread that you recommend right at the beginning. I thought that was cool. Yes, yeah, so let me look, look and see which one. Well, there's one, it's, it's, like, so I this, remember, I've written like three tarot books, guide books since then. So it's all just mush in my brain. Right, so, so it, the sale, um, oh, the sale hoax throw down. Yes, the sale. <laughs> Alho Throwdown. These are fun to make. These are fun. Um, yeah, so I just really wanted um, a, a tarot spread just to start out to really just for you to dive in and like really get the energy of the deck and get the feel for the deck, how you guys were going to cooperate together and what you're, what will you get out of using this deck and why why do you need to use this deck and because like i said i really wanted to make sure there was a lot to pull yeah. from even with colors there's a lot of colors and yeah. so as you're getting to know it and as you are familiar getting you know more familiar and everything you'll notice these little things throughout the cards and you kind of make your own little like divination system in your head you know yeah. like you see that like pink and blue sky and that means something to you right you those butterflies you see the gold, you see, you know, the different things. And I really wanted to, you know, have all that in there so that you can really make it your own. Yeah. So the art is so, it, there's a lot, but it's so evocative. Like just, I'm sure just at first glance, you're going to have your own perception of mm -hmm. what it means. And then you yeah. can read the guidebook and of course get the, the color and the depth. But then as you work with it more, certain aspects will jump out at you more. Like yeah. this, I love the brightness of it, but then I notice like the subtle hands that are actually holding it. Like, yeah, there, there's different things that will jump out, I'm sure, based on like the actual questions that you're asking. asking. Oh, for sure, yeah. Like, yeah I yeah. love this five of coins. So in the traditional rider weight, the people are walking outside the church. 
-hmm. And then here right. you have, is that an archangel? Who is that that's floating above them? Um, Do we know? No? Did I just put you on the spot? Quizzing me of all this thing. <laughs> Sorry. What are you like, I'm done. It's like I created this or something. What are you doing? <laughs> I want to. I need to spend more time with it. That's why I'm like, well, uh, tell me about this. No, let me look. Let me look. I'll bite it. It's, I'm almost there. I yeah. Like I said, I've written like a couple other decks at this point. Um, I, I want to talk is, about that next. Your your other projects. Yes, up. I'm trying to remember oh, who was it's, it. I, I think he might have just been a god. I don't remember that it who it was exactly. Okay. The five of coins. Let's see if I have. Yeah, one. I have it here, but I don't remember. Yeah, it's yeah. okay. I mean, he is so cool because the thing is, yes, they're destitute. They're it's an they're, archangel, but I don't remember which one. Yeah. So there he is. Exactly. I mean, there is a higher power. There is help available. You're not right. going to shut but out. Like, look through the opening. It's like clear sky over there. Yeah. It's, you know, it, like it's beautiful weather, but they're like so focused on their doom and gloom that they're missing that. They're like, you know, they're, they're walking past this like tree and, and there's like this beautiful land right there you know it's so, so welcoming it's, yeah here's your here's your place of respite right. and yet you right. can't even recognize it yeah like get out of your own head and and pay attention so many people have been there myself absolutely. included so. absolutely absolutely right. i think it's beautifully done congratulations thank you thank, yeah. you thank you no it's definitely a labor of love and it it took um about four years to complete so That's it took to me a long a long haul it was and this this was the first deck that you created yes yep this was my first my first deck and this is i did um kickstart it and all of that so you know being the first time i kickstart it that was like a, it was just a very big learning yeah. process so we talked a little bit about that you you shared some of the uh the challenges of that type yeah. of a process it is it is. I think it's, it's definitely, you got to do your homework and you got to account for all these things and make sure you have money for those things that you don't think of. <laughs> but now I think all of your hard work and effort has paid off because you're up for all sorts of awards. Yes. Like the COVR uh, recognition, right? Yeah. 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 Um, and then the Tabby awards. Um, so, oh yeah. The, the, uh, Cover. I, it's cover, but I, I always say, cover. I don't, I don't know. say it wrong. Yeah. I, she, always kind of, she always corrects me and I always say it wrong again. You know, I don't know. That's, that's, why, that's why I didn't say I, it. <laughs> oh, I think it's on, um, I think we actually will find out on um, the first. So Saturday. Good luck. Thank you. It's beautiful. So, it's thank beautiful. You, thank you. Yeah. So we have these in stock. If anybody that's watching wants to order these, I highly recommend Yay. it. It's excellent. Do it. So then, do it. Um, and tell me about the additional new projects you've been working on. Cause one is very near and dear to my heart, which I know. <laughs> so, um, the first one I will talk about that's for pre-order right now mm -hmm. is Enchanted Forest Felines. Mm -hmm. And that is coming out with, um, Llewellyn. They are publishing it. Great. Um, and like I said, it'll be out in November, November. You can pre-order it now. And that one, um, you know, I live. In upstate New York, I live on top of a mountain. Beautiful. So it's all mountain around me, all, you know, forest. Mm -hmm. So this actually, the idea for this deck came when I was outside. I was like sitting on the deck. And unfortunately, a lot of people will dump stray cats on the mountain, you know, wow. because they suck yeah. and that's what they do. Right. So I will, you know, a lot of times I will, you know, I'll see them running around or, you know, I'm watching them like pounce and, and like eat mice. And it's actually, it's amazing how many they can eat. Like, it's like, pew. And then I'm thinking about how many mice I must have in my yard because I live in the woods. But then I try not to think about that. Right. So, I, you know, I'm just watching this and I'm seeing, you know, and there's been different times. And of course I try to befriend all of them. Of course. But it I would too. It really works. But I, I'll feed them. I try to feed them. And, and you know, I, I try. I try and I will keep trying. Yeah. Don't <laughs> lose hope. I won't stop until it, until it actually works. Um, and that's kind of where the inspiration for that came. So I'm just like, you know, it's like I just felt so bad 
and you know they were you know they're just kind of running around and they all they, i mean they seem to be doing all right for themselves but it just kind of was like and then my head went off in its little land and i'm like oh what if there, there was a place for them that was magical just for them and you know and that's kind of how i came up with this and that's like enchanted yeah. forests that's really where it what it was and so um you know that that was a that was a lot of fun to make that was a lot of fun my artist um her name is iva and she is she's from croatia mm -hmm. um super super sweet and she was a lot of fun to work with and and um i know she, i think she she had this big she has this really kind of big tabby type of cat and she put him in the in the deck somewhere Aww. so I, she's like can i put my cat in the deck i'm like yeah <laughs> do it <laughs> i love that so yeah so that'll be coming out and it's very um it's like very like folk art like i really want to kind of like a storybook folk art like just something fun and whimsical yeah. so it was um that was fun to make too and it was fun to do the like tarot spreads for it and stuff yeah because then you know there's so many cat puns in the guidebook i'm excited for that see somebody right? just said just like my husband we have 13 cats oh my God. and he he also feeds 20 plus ferals yeah see you just gotta do it and i don't so, yeah so i just rescued a little kitten underneath dina's shed i saw oh my gosh it's this big i can get her by the end i yeah. i can go bring her before she's we close adorable. i see the pictures i love it she's, she's uh, it's like a month old she's precious oh Oh my gosh yeah. i love it i know my um my brother-in-law actually his cat just had four kittens oh. and and like he's like so in love with them now he, he's gonna keep all of them <laughs> he's like i'm gonna just keep all of them i'm like oh i okay yeah well i have two cats and they are bonded so like Gigi and phoenix so i had no intention at all of getting another cat because like right. they, they're good dynamic they love each other it's good then all of a sudden this little kitten I was like, yeah, no, I'm going to find a new home for it. My daughter's like, mom, <laughs> it's not happening. Uh, no. And no. then she's like crawling up my, my neck and she's like imprinted on me. I'm like, all right. So done. I've been selected by the cat distribution system. All right. Yeah. No, and you, you got to go with it. You can't argue with that. That, I mean, uh, then lightning will strike and the world will just fall yeah. apart. So you got to do it. Yeah. You're doing it for the collective, actually. Thank yeah. you for your service. I, I named her. <laughs> I named her uh, Bastet the Panther. Oh my gosh, I yeah. love that. That's yeah. so adorable. Oh it's my cute. god. Yeah. So thank you for making the Enchanted Forest sea lines yeah. because I can't wait. I love my time in the forest hiking and then mm -hmm. combining cats. It's brilliant. <laughs> yes, yes. And actually, Llewellyn. Um, every year they do a Llewellyn Con. Mm -hmm. So that is um, next, I think. I think it's June 1st, June, right? First it starts. Yeah. I go on the 6th. Yeah, I'm on I'm on the 6th. And I will okay. be talking about how to connect with feline energy. Oh, good. And, good. So, and it's a free event. So anybody yeah. can sign up for it. But yeah, so I'm going to be talking about my deck. And then I'm just, it's only a half hour. So you have to look be quick. When I did it last year, it went so quick. And I was like, oh, we're done. But it's it's a lot of fun, and there's a ton of great other authors. Too. My friend Stephanie from my childhood hometown. We grew up together, like high school. She lives in Arizona, and her book is uh, newly published with Llewellyn. She's going to present awesome. as well. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah, Stephanie Michelle. So if you get hers, it's uh, chakra. It's doing shadow work and working with your chakras. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. Oh, oh, awesome. Yay. Yeah. I love that. So then what, what other projects you have more coming I, up to? I do. I do. So I have another deck in progress right now, but I can't really talk about it yet. Okay. Um, we are looking for an artist. So um, with Llewellyn, you have to, um, they kind of, they source the artist for you. So actually today they sent me four artists um, to kind of put, like they have, they number them from like one to four and they're like, which ones do you like? You know, so, the so there was one that I really, really, really liked. So I'm hoping that he um, goes for it. Yay! I hope so. So then what they'll do is if they accept it and agree, then they'll do three sketches and then they'll check it out. I'll check it out and we'll decide if it's, if it's a good fit or not. But cool. um, it's very good. Um, what can I say? It's fantasy related. Okay. Um, and they are, I guess they, they're like earth 
beings. They're like earthy. So that's all I can say about okay. it. Okay. Um, but hopefully, hopefully, very, very soon. Um, but yes, it's so we have to plan on Nice. It. All this stuff takes so long. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. It all really of the back does. end. It does. It does. Yes. And I'm also um, writing a book um, about manifesting with the moon. So wow. um, that's in progress right now and in edits. And hopefully soon I'll have more info of when that's going to come out and all that that's, stuff. That's amazing. Good for you. I yeah. can't wait for us to stock all of it. And then you have to come <laughs> yeah. down. You have to come downstate and do an event at the shop. No, I know. Definitely. Definitely. And you know, I was thinking about last night too. I'm actually going to be down there. I'm going to be in Wading River because my nieces graduate high school in the summer nice. um, in July. So I'm going to have to come step by in Seth Lowe. Okay, definitely. I would love to have you and then we'll get, you know, we'll publicize it so that people can come and meet you in person. We'll do a little signing of the products. That would be fun. Cool. Yay. Totally. No, I yes. love that. So how did you first start reading tarot like what did you start with tarot did you start with other aspects of metaphysics what got you um, what got you, you know i i mean i was always kind of the weird kid you know outside chasing fairies and doing you know mm -hmm. making potions and all of that but yeah. um i first started with tarot when i was about 13 or 14. Yeah. so i um you know i you couldn't you know there was no internet whatever. right and you couldn't just go and type it up so you had to go to the library and the library if they had any metaphysical books is maybe one or two and it took about six months to get them wow because there was you know people we were always like checking them out you know probably kids just like yeah. so um you know i finally got my hands on one of these books and i'm you know i started reading about tarot and then you know and the, like i saw different movies and i'm like i need to know what this is i i need to do this right. so i babysat and i like saved my money and <laughs> um my boyfriend at the time i uh, begged him to take me to like the barnes and noble or some whatever bookstore there was um and the fun fact is he's my husband today so oh. we're we've been together for 35 years that's amazing so, long time so um yeah so he actually so he's been on the journey with me just with all of my weird with you know he gets brownie points for that i love that and, um yeah and so i just got the regular Rider, uh, rider weight smith and i actually still have it um and I just, I had this stupid little book that came with it and there was nothing in it. There's like right. some weird, you know, and I'm trying to like figure it out and I didn't even know. So I just kind of started winging it, yeah. you know, and just, all right, well, this is what I think it means. And then it just, you know, as things went on and as it got easier to like get your hands on stuff yes. and, and all of that, and it just kind of evolved from there. I love that. I love, it's so funny because at that same weekend, um, my first tarot deck was, the Enchanted Tarot by Amy Zerner yes. and Auntie Farber. Oh so my I was, gosh. I was talking with the folks over at Red Feather Publishing and the Osset Gypsy, yep. James, yep. who we're friends with. And I saw their book and I go, oh, that reminds me of the same art of my first deck. And they go, they're right, <laughs> they're right there. And I, go, behind you. I go, oh my God. So I like ran across and I met them and now now we're all friends and it's amazing and they're going to come to the shop uh, in like two weeks. Are they? Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, they're super sweet. I've been, I've known, I got just said online stuff a lot with them, but they're super sweet. They're amazing. I went out to, um, I went out to East Hampton and I spent the day with oh. them and I, oh, they're, cool. just, they're just like kindred spirits and instant friends and amazing people. So, you know, it's, it's funny because I was also that kid like climbing trees and making dirt spells and, you know, all, all the things. All the things. <laughs> I totally <laughs> relate. Really, yeah. So fun. So magical. No, and then, then of course the Libra, I loved all of her textures and like the tapestries and I was like, Oh, this is like a whole world opening up to me, you know? Oh, so, for sure. And everyone yeah, was like, you're weird. Like that too. There's a lot to like draw from yeah. like in Amy's images. There's a lot to draw from too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, that's what, that's the fun of yours is there's mm -hmm. so much to look at in every card. There's, there's, there's all different aspects of like pirates and using real pirates. There's the, the mythology behind it, the gods and goddesses. Right. And then the whimsy of, uh, you know, just space pirates and steampunk. And that's just fun. Yeah, just 
all the things and that's what, you know and in the guidebook too like on the bottom like i wrote like a little thing about the different gods or the goddesses or the pirates or whatever just in case somebody was like oh who is that let me take a peek and even with right. the goddesses like maybe there's one you really connected with right. like maybe you like saw freya and you're like wow uh this this i love this card i need to like embody this card and so you can right. look and then you know you can use it and create an altar mm -hmm. and you know go off and start doing some goddess work that totally. maybe you didn't think you would be doing you know so i love it, that it's just all about like just multi you know multitasking because you know that's what we multitask all the well, time so well, it's layers right it. yeah yeah so that's <laughs> it that's definitely like how Dina and I started the shop. It's all about layers and correspondences. Mm -hmm. So, you know, cause everybody's path, it's like choose your own adventure, right? Absolutely. So you gotta, you gotta follow with what resonates most with you. So we just provide mm -hmm. all of the tools in every different iteration and then people will gravitate towards what their path is. Right. Cause like you know, the, the word witch, I never really like originally resonated with that term. I was like, well, more, I'm more like, I like nature and shamanic and like, mm -hmm. you know, my Celtic roots and working with the angels. And she's like, yeah, no, I'm more like witchy and I work with crystals and sound. And I was like Reiki healer. So I think the way that everything culminated with Amityville Apothecary, it's just the layering and the correspondences. Mm -hmm. So how you did that, it's like, okay, the art, trust your intuition. Then here's the traditional meaning also with your interpretive meaning. But mm -hmm. then there's the, the factual, like, fun facts about the deities or the gods or the pirate or whoever it may be. Right. I, I think it's great. It's fun. Yay, thank you. Yeah. No, thank you. Thank you. And, and, and you know, it's, it, it's so scary to, like, create these things and, like, put them out into the world because, you know, there's always going to be people who criticize it and all of that. But, you know, I just. I just felt like it needed to happen. And like, even just with these other, you know, the other ideas I had and, you know, Llewellyn has been wonderful and, you know, I'm like, Oh, I want to do this. And they actually at the deck that we're looking for the artist, they actually asked me to do that one. And I thought that was cool because I'm like, all right. So they kind of get me because it's totally my vibe. Yeah. So I was like, all right, I could do this. Yeah, definitely. So, cool. so I just, you just got to do it. You just got to do it. As scary as it is, you just got to do know it. What for every critic did they do it? Like <laughs> exactly, exactly. You can say what you, you will. Know, and you know, and and I think I, you know, with with Stardust, I think I picked the the kind of the harshest platform. You know, like the Kickstarter people are not. Most of them are very very nice, mm -hmm. but some of them are not, and some of them are, they're just loud. They're just like constantly poking, you know, and. Yeah. It's just, you know, and it's like, you know what, do what you're going to do, feel how you're going to feel about it. But you know what? I made you feel something. So I win. That's true. <laughs> right? right? It's, 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 what's the saying? It's like, not, there's no, um, there's no bad publicity. Like, it's exactly. All. <laughs> like, you know what? If you looked at this and it really pissed you off, why did it piss you off? Yeah. Is there some shadow work maybe you should look, look into? Boom. I don't know. Think there about it. No? Totally. <laughs> I totally resonate with that. Right. This, is anybody that's watching are there any questions from the people watching that have any uh any questions for jen i want to go get my little uh house panther i'll be right back yes yeah. yes okay hold on one second <laughs> we yeah. need the kitty please <laughs> is she like running away now here she comes <laughs> Here she comes. Aww. Well, of oh course, goodness. I'm wearing like black on black. Aww. So this is my best jet. I mean, the meow. Yeah, she's a baby. <laughs> she's <laughs> like, what is happening right now? Well, she's normally my shadow. Like, mm -hmm. she just wants to be mm -hmm. on me or held by me. So I, I allowed some time to let her like calm down and rest before we did this. Right. So that she wasn't like screaming at the door the whole yeah. time. Yes, yes. Yeah. That was a good call for yeah. sure. Yeah, so but she's cute. Yeah, she definitely like plays hard but then knocks hard too. So Yeah, she sleeps like at night. She's sleeping like good and everything. So uh, stuff. Unless she wants to attack the hands, but that's all right. She's still a baby. She is. <laughs> she is a baby. She's allowed. She's allowed. Totally. <laughs> totally. So we are having a um 
a Halloween, like a harvest fest, Ooh. which is the first weekend in October. So you're welcome to come down for that. And like, oh, yes. I don't know if you want to plan ahead. So no. that and, and I, then we're all, I've got family down there anyway. I mean, that's where I'm originally from. So good, you know, yeah. <laughs> where did, where did you grow up? Um, I was born in Smithtown, um, and I grew up in mostly around Miller Place. That was kind of like more my high school, where I went to high school and stuff was in Miller Place, Fort Jeff yeah. area. Uh, it's yeah. very nice over there. I graduated from Northport, so my cousins were oh, okay. over, yeah. over by you. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah no, I have a, actually a friend that's from Northport. That's, yeah, all the way down there. We're in, like I said, we're going down there for my niece and my twin nieces. They're graduating high school, so... Very exciting. Yeah. Uh, so we're going down there. And that's why I'm like, oh, yeah, wait a minute. I'm going to go stop and say hello. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love yeah. it. Well, you always have an open invitation. We would, yeah. we would love to host you in the that, shop. Do you want to um, you want to pull a card for the collective, maybe? Let's do it. OK, let's do it. Let's do it. All right. What do we got? Oh, I got the two of oars. Ooh. So there's Mina um, looking out from Star Moon Rising. And, you know, I really think for this one, it's just about considering all your options. You know, um, that what you have right now isn't terrible, but can, can things be improved? Can you try something different? Can you go out of your comfort zone? So I think those are just kind of questions to think about as you go through the rest of the week. I think that's great. Yeah, it actually it actually corresponds with um, with some other cards, some, some goddess cards that I pulled today. Oh, so it's definitely really, um, yeah, it matches the energy for sure. Oh, I love when that happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, okay, universe, got yep. you. <laughs> nope, time to listen needs to happen Excellent. for sure. <laughs> So the, the comment is thanks so much. I'm really, I really enjoyed this. Oh no, thanks for hanging Ab out. No, I, I'm great. Absolutely. So any, uh, any closing remarks that you want to touch on before we close up the, uh, the conversation? Um, um, I would say that if you want the deck, go ahead and check it out over in the store there and um, because this also too, this is the first edition and this is going to be a very, this is limited first edition. So once I get down to probably one or two boxes left, I'm going to be making an announcement about this. So this, you definitely want to grab this edition. I would not wait because it is, I, I'm down to boxes. Like I had like my whole garage full, but now we got like this little tiny pile left. So isn't that um, amazing? No, it's it's just weird and just as i you know you're like oh okay all right and it's you know it's weird too it's shipping it out to different countries like that is so crazy to me like i just sent one out today to france Isn't and that, that amazing? amazing yeah and it's like going here and going to all these different places and it, it's just it is it's just crazy um but yeah so i definitely you know the second edition of this will be a little bit different and that's going to be a part of the announcement. So um, if you want this one and it, I, you need to do it. Yeah. See, you and Best Set agree. Best Set you totally is like, yes, get yes. it now. Yeah. Totally, then, you, you know, need Danielle this. said she has them in the shop. So then you can just go there and not even worry about shipping or it's, anything. It's beautiful. And we have the store copy available. I took the store copy home with me. So we always allow people to like leaf through the deck yeah. beforehand. Yeah. So, no, it's, um, uh, yeah, I like no, but it's, it's, it's so interesting and creative and fun and engaging. So if you're, you know, like you said, if you're a beginner, this is a great deck to learn. And if you're an advanced one, it's a great addition because it's so unique to add to your collection. Right. And as you can see, like, I'm obsessed with books and decks. So like, yeah, oh, no. I, I, I have so many and I'm just, it, they're starting to line at the bottom. Yeah. Like they're just lining them at the bottom of my like bookcases now. And I'm like, oh boy. yeah, I, I mean, I don't even want to ask, like be like, oh, I can tell Jay, my husband, I need another bookcase. He's going to be freak out on me. So we just got to pile them there for now until he gets I agree because I don't want to thin them. I'm like, so I just get, so what I really want is when I buy my house, because I'm renting right now, mm -hmm. I'm just going to plan to have floor to ceiling, like custom bookshelves. Yeah. So it's solved. No, it's, it's not thinning. Absolutely. 
absolutely. And that's why, and right now too, because we have a house in Massachusetts. And so I'm like, have some, I'm like bringing some decks over there too. So that helps. Yeah. Um, which, you know, that's kind of where most of my like creepy dog collection is because the house was built in 1715. So it's like super haunted. It's all original. It's like, it's, it's an amazing house. And like we had, we had to have, so bringing all the stuff there and like, you know, with the decks and all of that, it's been fun because it's just the energy and then like everything around is kind of like, what's going on here? What is all this stuff? <laughs> Right. I mean, like the historical age of the house is amazing. And it all sounds amazing. You lost me at the creepy dolls. <laughs> no, my friend, well, Pam, no, who's no. on, right? I'm uh, really, we're really good friends. We've been friends forever. And I love Pam. I just constantly will send her a picture mm -hmm. of one of them. Not doing and I it. Have, like, I have a lot of creepy dolls. Like, some of them are in my feed, like, if you really want to look, but. I just actually just got this one and um is she here? Yeah, she is oh. here. I should show you. Oh <laughs> am I gonna have nightmares? Am I gonna have nightmares? Um I, I don't think so. You can show should it. I get her? Yeah, you can show it. Okay. okay. I might <laughs> I'll be I'm a big baby. <laughs> so this doll actually this is her. Oh my god. Oh my god. She's crazy. Sit down. I gotta sit on my leg because I'm short, so I need to like this. <laughs> She's definitely creepy. So this doll actually was made by Hasbro. And it, it's her name the name Why? of the doll is Little Miss No Name is the name of this doll. Hasbro made this. So they made this before, like in between making like Barbie uh -huh. and like the Cabbage Patch Kids. So she was made from like in like the early, like the 60s, like mid 60s, right? That's so the doll. story is that she is just like this little, like, I don't know, vet. She a tear. Doll. She's like a poor Yeah, she's orphan. got a tear. And then when you move her hands, it's like you put them together, it's like her begging. And if you look up the commercial, there's actually a commercial for this. And of course, they only sold that they only sold it for like a year or so, right? Because well, what who's buying? Yeah, it. who's <laughs> buying this, right? You. So she is Little Miss No Name, and she um, nobody loves her, so they wanted you to bring her, and she was like in the woods, and nobody right. loved her. See her big eyes. Yes. So terrifying. Look, watch what you can take the teardrop out. It comes out. What? Oh. Why would you want to like wake up and see that looking at you? It's, like it's, she wants to murder it's sitting, you. Yeah, it's sitting in my yeah. I can't. I don't want to. I don't want to break my nail. Honestly, that's why I, I'm not. Don't gonna, blame me. I'm a Libra. Okay, I can't help it. So <laughs> so yeah. So she is one of my newest ones, but she oh hasn't made God. it over to the tavern because the house is an old tavern. But she hasn't made it over there yet. But wow. this is her, and she's she's kind of creepy. Okay, so with her let's eyes. look at the kitten instead. <laughs> Yes, look at the kitten. <laughs> Never mind Ken's creepy dolls. Kitt kittens over dolls. <laughs> See, this is what happens when you hang out with me. We go down all sorts of Oh, we'll have a great time, but if I come up to Massachusetts, the dolls go away. <laughs> so we'll put them away, and then they'll just oh. be knocking on the door to get out. <laughs> oh, my God. My kitten wants to go. She's like, yeah. I'm afraid of the doll, Mom. I'm afraid of She's like, I'm out of here. I'm done with this. <laughs> it's so funny. Traumatized <laughs> <a> child. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny it listen is. i can't even watch a horror movie i am so afraid but yeah so cam funny. will go down that rabbit hole <laughs> I love her. no she hates it she's like please stop and i just keep sending them she uh, is so, so and that's not even my she's not even my creepiest one but that, those aren't even here so you're yeah. lucky you don't have to see yeah. them no Vinny. Vinny would like that i'm an i'm a no it's a no for me it's a no for me <laughs> Well, oh, this has been so much fun. Everybody yes. get your copy of The Stardust Wanderer and go on this yes. wonderful adventure. Jen is awesome, so follow her on social media. Yay. What's your handle, Jen? A Stardust Wanderer Tarot. There you go. It's on it's, all the things. It's on this, so yes. follow her. She's amazing, and thank I hope to you. see you soon. Yes, thank you for having me on. I'll, Thanks, everyone. I'll See you on the Llewellyn Con. Guys, sign up yeah. for that too. Free content. Llewellyn Con on Thursday the 6th. Yeah. Awesome. All right. All right. You take good care. All right. Bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>